Hello everyone and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm participating in the mystery box challenge. Amber from DIY with Amber brought a few of us together and we were supposed to get seven items from the Dollar Tree. Three of the items we were supposed to package separately so that the person who receives our box has to do something with those three items. I sent my box to Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating and Starla Nicole sent me my box. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Aw, a little card for me. Oh, with the little kitty. I'll read the card later because I don't know if it's personal or not. Look at this big buffalo check bow. I love this. You know what? I haven't seen this at my Dollar Trees. Very beautiful. Thank you, Starla. Let me see here. Ooh, a ribbon. Look at this, you guys. Look at that matching. Woot, woot. This is a beautiful one, too. Oh, there's more ribbon. Starla. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at all the ribbon she gave me. Very cool. Let me see. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Ribbon, ribbon, and ribbon. Oh, my this is gorgeous look at the silver and then some christmas ones thank you so much all right and oh you guys you know how much i love using this i've done so many diys with these i love them okay so oh there's more stuff in there look at this a little wooden car ideas 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 you guys let's see here This little house, I've been searching for this. Oh my goodness, look at this. I love that. Okay, so I'm not sure what this she said was a surprise for me. Let me see here. It looks, it feels like a mug. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. So I got a North Pole mug that I had to, uh, that I, had um home goods hold for me and they lost it and it was this exact same mug i'm not even kidding you um yeah this is insane it's the north pole mug just like the one i put away because when someone returns it, it has to stay on the shelf for so many days and yeah they lost that apparently yeah mm -hmm, don't believe that but look at this i the chances of her sending me the mug that the store lost that I was looking for is just incredible. Okay, so look at let's look at the items that I have to DIY with. Let's see here. Oh, it's a little garland. Is this from the Dollar Tree? I've never seen this at the Dollar Tree. Super cute. It's a little ornament garland. Okay. Okay, and little stars. Oh boy. Okay. I, it looks like I got some work to do. All right, so I got my two items and let's see what I make with these. To get started, I'm going to take these wooden letters from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to spell out snow. I gave all the letters one coat of the white Rust-Oleum chalk paint. For this project, I will be using two things out of the box, the microfiber cloth and one of these snowflakes. The first thing I did was grab the snowflake and it, just using some wire cutters, I am removing that little loop basically that connected each of the snowflakes and there were two, one at the top of the snowflake and one at the bottom. For the base of our project, I will be using this fall sign from the Dollar Tree in shape of a jar. And now I'm grabbing a sheet of scrapbooking paper. Now this paper my friend got on clearance and gifted to me. But you could definitely buy just one sheet what you need if you wanted to recreate this. And use the Michaels 40% coupon to save a little bit too. But this paper worked out so perfect. 
for this project. Now I'm just tracing the jar and cutting it out. Using some tacky glue, I attached my glitter paper to the jar. Now it's time to hot glue everything in place. I'm grabbing the letters for the word snow and hot gluing them right underneath the lid area. And then grabbing one of my snowflakes, I just hot glued it to the bottom of the jar sign. I also decided to add a little bow. I'm just using this light blue ribbon I had on hand and I'm making a simple bow. And then I also decided to put a little piece of a pearl right in the middle of the bow. To start off with, I'm grabbing this wooden Christmas tree from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to give it one coat of the white Rust-Oleum chalk paint. Next, I'm using this faux snow and I'm going to Mod Podge it to the Christmas tree. After my Mod Podge dries, I want to always seal the top of the glitter. So I'm just grabbing the sponge brush, which I'm not a fan of, but for this, this is the only thing that I feel like works the best. And I'm dabbing it right on top of the faux snow, so it'll give it that nice top seal. For the stump of the tree, I decided to go with a light gray just because the tree itself is very light. So I just got zinc paint by Americana, added some white acrylic paint to it to come up with the color that I really like. And I'm just painting the stump at the bottom of the Christmas tree. Now for the ornaments, I'm going to take them off the garland very carefully and put them to the side for now. Now I'm grabbing some baker's twine and I got this red and white one that fit perfectly for my project and I'm going to be making these tiny little bows. I'm just using a shoelace method and just tying and tying the little bows. You're going to need one bow per little ornament. Next I'm just grabbing my ornament, hot gluing a bow to the top of the ornament and then hot gluing it onto my Christmas tree. To complete the look I'm grabbing these silver vase fillers, cutting them in half and just using different sizes, smaller and larger, just hot gluing them all over the Christmas tree. For my third project, I'm using this super cute little wooden house. And the first thing I'm going to do is give it one coat of chalk paint by Rust-Oleum in linen white. Now I'm going to grab this metal joy sign. This comes at the Dollar Tree in a set of three with two other words in it. Whenever I'm painting one of these words, I have a specific thing I do. I give it two coats of whatever paint I'm using, in this case white chalk paint, I let it completely dry and with a very soft brush so I don't bother any of the paint, I put Mod Podge on top of it. And when I do that, I make sure to cover all the edges of the letters because we really need to make sure that the white paint is sealed onto the metal. Now I'm grabbing this scrapbooking paper pad and this one's six by six. And I just looked through some of these pages. I wanted something that had a wooden background. And I found this really cute one. It had like these purple shades in it, blue shades in it. And I cut it to size of that board that I wanted to cover. Then I just used some tacky glue to attach it. And then I'm just attaching the joy sign with some hot glue straight on top of the paper. Next, to paint the trim of the little house, I'm going to use this silver by Artist Loft and just give it one coat.
I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down below which DIY you thought was the cutest. I wanted to say thank you to Amber for bringing us all together. I will have all the participating ladies in the description box below. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.